Hey everybody, it's Mr. Sunito, and this video is going to show you how to use the Google Classroom app on a phone and how to take a picture of some student work and attach it so that your teacher can see it. You're gonna to have to log into Google Classroom. You're gonna need your username and your password. Of course, parents, you should have that, but if you've forgotten it, just let me know, send me a text, uh, call me, email me, we've got that. Of course, here, you've got the different classes that your child is enrolled in, but I'm gonna focus on my class, Mr. Sunito, which would be, oops, not there. How about there? <laughs> as you can tell, I'm learning as I go. So you tap there. And at the bottom, you get three buttons. It says stream, classwork, and people. Um, the stream is going to have announcements in it. And it's also going to have some of the uh, assignments in it. I'm not sure why the assignments also then show under classwork. I just go to classwork and the assignment that I'm looking at says right up here, writing for the feelings book. You tap on the assignment and I'm going to post the directions. Um, and this is what I wrote. I said, take a picture of your writing and drawing for the feelings book and post it here. Um, and I even said, parents, it might be easier if you download the Google Classroom app to take pictures of your child's work. That's how I'm going to be asking you to submit most of the work uh, for the beginning of the year, at least. We'll say that. And I even attached um, a video. Now, if you click here on the video, because it teaches me It'll open up, oh, you'll get an ad. And then if you get past the ad, Welcome to you'll see that I posted um, the book in case your child Sounds wants to read the book again. Like There's a video of the book. But if you exit out, you'll go back to Google Classroom. And the important part of the video is that we need to take a picture and submit the work, take a picture of the writing. So let's see, it says missing. And when I tap on missing, it says here, add attachment. So let me do that again. It says missing at the bottom. I'm gonna tap on missing. And now it says add attachment. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add an attachment, which is gonna be a picture. So let's tap here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click use the camera because I need to take a picture of the work. And it says it would like to access the camera. I'm going to click OK. Here is the work. I take the picture and then at the bottom, I'm going to click use photo. And now you see it's beginning to upload the picture. We're not done yet but it's definitely sending the picture to Google Classroom. And then what we have to do up here, you can take a second picture. Sometimes I might need two or three pages of work submitted. You can do that. And then you're gonna click on where it says turn in. But if you're adding another page, you're gonna click add attachment. I don't need to do that. I'm gonna just tap turn in. It says one attachment will be submitted. That's great. Turn in. And at the bottom, it says assignment turned in. And if I need to, if you sent me the wrong picture, you could click unsubmit and take the picture back. But as it turns out, it's done. And so when I look again down here at classwork, It, and I tap on the assignment, it shows turned in. So I hope that helped. Um, feel free to call me, email me, text me, reach out to me. Let me know if you're having any problems. 
but that's how I'm going to be collecting the work for a while. Okay. Thanks so much for watching and um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.